Good day, students. You are welcome to today's class. Today we'll be considering another topic, cell division. Cell division. Cell division means multiplication of cells. Multiplication of cells in the sense that cells have to, a single cell have to divide into two, two to four, four to eight. That is, when it, it is a situation whereby a single cell divides into two or more cells. And that is why I said it is multiplication of cells. Cell division is the basis of growth in every living organism. For growth to occur in every living organism, cell division must take place. So we have two types of cell division in living organism. We have mitosis and meiosis. Those are the two types of cell division that we have. Now mitosis. Mitosis is the type of cell divisions that occur in reproductive cell. Uh, a non-reproductive cell, I mean. It is a type of cell division that occurs in somatic cell, which is a non-reproductive cell. For example, blood cells, nerve cells, bone cells, muscle cells. So every other cell in the body system, aside reproductive cell, mitosis takes place in them. Now, mitosis is the basis of growth and development, and it also occurs in asexual reproduction. So for growth to occur, mitosis must take place, and even in development, and it also occurs in asexual reproduction. This type of cell division, at the end of the division, two daughter cells are formed in the process. And the two daughter cells that are formed in the process have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. It shows that the two daughter cells that are formed are genetically identical with the parent cell. Now, meiosis, which is the second type of cell division. Meiosis is a type of cell division that occurs in reproductive cells. So the reproductive cells in the body system, meiosis occurs in them. For example, ova or sperm cell. Now meiosis is a type of cell division in which the division occurs twice. And at the end of the division, four daughter cells are produced. And the four daughter cells that are produced does not have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, making them not genetically identical to the parent with the parent cell. So in meiosis, meiosis, the stages of meiosis, which is the first stage and the second stage of meiosis, which I said produces two uh, four daughter cells. And I said that the four daughter cells that are produced in the process have, doesn't have the same number of chromosomes as a parent cell. Now, the DNA replication in meiosis, despite the fact that the, the uh, meiosis has two stages, that is stage one and stage two, the, the DNA replication, that is the production of DNA, the Replication of DNA occur once in meiosis. So what I want you to note there is that meiosis occurs in reproductive cells. And at the end of the day, four daughter cells are produced in the process. And the four daughter cells that are produced in the process are genetically, are not genetically identical with the parent cell. They are not genetically identical with the parent cell. So those are the points I want you to note there. Now, that is the end of cell division. Till we meet next class, God bless you.